um, uh, uh, I want to give this motor vlogging thing a go and I guess this is my first attempt. I ride a red bike. It's a Suzuki GSF 600 Bandit DS model as you can tell from the fairing in front. Why did I choose it? Because I thought this would be the most reasonable bike for what I need a bike for. It was a very informed and adult decision to get this and I've regretted it ever since. I am yet to have a motor vlogging name. Oh, this is gonna be cool. I love this part. It's like a jump. Whoa. I always feel like every time I'm coming up to that, that hill and I can't see over the other side, my brain always tells me, look out, man, that's gonna be a 90 degree turn as soon as you land. And I always just pussy out of it. But anyway, anyway, why motor vlogging? Why? Why am I doing this? Why why does a kid like me just think, think to pick up a camera and a microphone one day and start sharing his experience on a bike? Well, I'm glad you asked. Moto vlogging for me has been this this amazing way of increasing my interaction with the bike and world. It feels like I'm riding in a group, I'm riding with all these vloggers without actually needing to have them near me or have a group near me or have a bunch of riding buddies. At first I thought motor vlogging was all about the individual guy doing the motor vlogging and getting subscribers and getting people to comment, braid, like, subscribe, retweet. Instagram, buy his t-shirts, buy his little cylinder socks, things. But the more I looked into it and the more I started getting deeper into this whole community, I've come to realize that it actually is exactly that. It's a whole community of, of bikers who want to share their experience, want to share their, their surroundings, want to share their bikes. And the thing with motorbikers sharing their experiences is, is so ingrained within that whole culture that, that it only makes sense to use the 21st century technology like GoPros at the internet, simple or more expensive mic setup to be able to share all, all that all that we do. Now if you've ever been to a bike meet or sat with a biker, uh, you always end up just talking about the experience that they had on the road, the experience they've had when riding their bike. It's just constant sharing of, of adventures, experiences and, and this motor vlogging things allows you to do that on a global scale. It's amazing. So I decided I wanted in on that and also all that YouTube money <laughs> let's see if I can squeeze through thank you very much what a nice guy now I don't know where I'm going I don't know what I'm gonna talk about but the last time I tried doing this it was very 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 rough I had no plan I went out with a partially loaded charged ba battery and now I feel a bit more calm with that even though I still have no plan I have a full battery on me and uh, an empty SD card I guess I can just ramble on for a bit and see if anything comes out of it let's go straight <coughs> oh I should really tank up Now what's the plan with these motor vlogs? I think this is gonna be quite ironic because at the moment it really is exactly that. What I don't want it to be is me riding around really boring roads and just talking. I definitely don't want it to just be me rambling on about stuff. But again, that's not to say I want to be here and changing the world with my opinions, views and all all that stuff I just don't want it to be boring I think it's important important to uh, I think it's important to be concise with what you're trying to say this is so ironic I'm doing exactly the opposite of what I want to do it's important to be concise with what you're doing it's important to keep it short oh someone's calling me two sex oh, so that was cool I hope my mic is still working one I'm about to run out of fucking fuel I have no idea where I am I have no idea I have no idea where the nearest fucking petrol station is I literally have about 20 miles fucking range I have no idea where I'm gonna tank up and I hope the guy isn't on the phone still yes there's a fuel station I'm safe let me go in here 
Oh, no entry. Great. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, no swearing. Sorry, I just got completely stressed out with this fuel shit. Anyway, uh, I'm going to have a wee, tank up, and then tell you what's going on.